If you are the proud owner of a cycad or even a cycas, well, I'm sure that you have had an infestation of caterpillars that literally arrived overnight. And normally, this is accompanied by a season change. And that makes sense because your cycas or your cycad will push a new set of leaves. And of course, if you're a young caterpillar, you want to eat something that's juicy and fresh. I would also choose the innermost, softest leaves. So what happens is this is a moth. His name is Xeronopsis leopardina. Now, now don't worry too much about that. They're high Latin. What you've got to know is its common name is called the leopard moth, um, sometimes also known in Afrikaans as the leopard mot. These moths are are active during the day and they will hover around your cycad and then disappear into the center either in ones or in twos. They then lay their eggs along the margins of the leaves. They then hatch and out comes a larva which will then ferociously destroy and devour your leaves. It only eats the leaves of cycads and cycasses. So it won't go and eat anything else. It'll come along and eat these if you've got them in the garden. Once they've eaten away and satisfied their, their little bellies, they then drop to the ground where they pupate in the leaf litter around your plant, in the soil. And that's where the next generation comes from. Now, one would ask the question, well, why are the birds not coming to eat these guys? Because birds love eating caterpillars. Well, the thing is that these caterpillars, because of their diet of eating cycads and cycasses, they almost become poisonous and very unpalatable to birds. So they become very bitter. Hence, they don't have any predators. But guys, do not go and get out your home insecticide aerosol spray. That product is not registered to be used on plants, therefore it should not be used by you on plants. There are many other alternatives that can be used which are far safer and better to use on your specific plant. And I'm going to go through all the different ones. Number one is called a contact. All right now, these chemicals you need to dilute into water at upon first sight of the caterpillars, you need to spray them. Like all chemicals, folks, you need to read the instructions carefully and spray it directly as a contact onto the caterpillars, which will then cause them to die and drop to the floor. The next option is what we call a systemic. Now, a systemic like this is diluted into your watering can according to the instructions and it is administered to the soil. So you're not spraying it on the plant, you're pouring it around the soil. What happens is the chemical goes into the soil, then gets taken up by the roots and into each cell of the plant. As the larva then hatches, they then start chomping away because the chemical is in the leaves, they then end up no longer. This is the option which I prefer folks, and this is a biological option. Works on a principle of a natural soil-born bacteria. What the clever people have been able to do is to extract this. So what you do is you take the product, dilute it into water, and then apply it onto the plant. You can do this as you see these little caterpillars, as you see the larva. What it does is these spores start multiplying and form their separate colony. And you got it exactly where the caterpillars are. What happens is the caterpillars then ingest the leaf, obviously, and some of the spores. When they do this, there's a certain enzyme in this spore, which then basically paralyzes the gut of the caterpillar. The caterpillar stops eating and then falls to the ground and is dead. It also means that if a dog, a child, even if a ladybird or a lacewing or a bee would come along near those caterpillars, that there is no secondary poisoning. Your fourth method of application is what we call a ready to use. Now guys, this is already all mixed, all mixed for you. It can also be used on edible crops, ready to use, shaken up, 
change the nozzle from off to on and literally spray the caterpillars. Well folks, there are four options and solutions for you to number one, protecting as well as dealing with these caterpillar infestations, also known as the leopard moth. Remember, everything I've used is available at Builders, either in store or online. Also check out the blog for more other great gardening articles and videos to turn you into a green-fingered guru. Get to Builders and get it done.